Hi everybody, welcome to this course called Heritage Under Threat. My name is Sada Mire and I'm the leading instructor for this course. What is heritage and why is it under threat? You probably have heard of the concepts such as looting and illicit trade, but what about human inequality and poverty? What about the issue of ownership? Coming from Somalia, I have personal experience with war and I have witnessed destruction. That's why I think it's important to focus on the humanitarian aspects of heritage under threat, as well as the more material issues such as destruction of heritage that takes place during natural disasters or in times of war. This course will consist of six different modules, each connected to a particular theme some quite obvious, some less obvious, but all relevant and indispensable to understand the topic of heritage under threat. Consequently, this course will take six weeks to complete. For each module, we have a variety of case studies, interesting reading, and both interactive and written assignments. The video you're watching now is the very first video of this course, but also of its first module called What is Your Heritage? It's named this way because it's important to start the course with a personal touch and articulate our heritage. And this will help us understand what we want to protect. The second module will revolve around the concept of inequality. This issue may not be the first that comes to mind when thinking about heritage under threat, but as we will see together, inequality is a multifaceted concept. If access is denied, for example, or if discrimination or misappropriation takes place, it can result into real threats. We will discuss that heritage can also be an instrument for recognizing cultural diversity, but also a tool for economic and political inequality. Ownership in relation to heritage is often a reason behind various debates and disputes, especially when it comes to relationships between communities, uh, nation and international organizations and law. Ownership is often intermixed with the concept of stewardship, but as we will see, both have different meanings and connotations. When done right, effective government and ownership of heritage can help us to protect from material and immaterial threats. Is heritage under threat? And if so, why and how? These are essential questions which together we will try to answer. By doing so, we will discover the material and immaterial threats to heritage and will understand how they, apart from physical destruction, often also impact human lives. In the module on protection of heritage, we will be dealing with everything from international laws, global practices, to local and indigenous and traditional heritage systems. Together, we will examine what methods are most effective based on where, how and when. We will discuss the technological innovations that help protect heritage. In the last module of the course, we will wrap up our discussions and together reflect on how our own interactions and learning contribute to our understanding of heritage under threat. Through your input based on the readings, assignments and discussions and together with studies from the communities working on this topic, we will work towards a sustainable instrument to tackle the topic of heritage under threat. This course will be personal, friendly and inspiring and will be brought to you in a highly visual manner, interactive and exciting way. For instance, helping me with illustrating the more theoretical parts of this course are experts on the field of heritage under threat. Each expert has a different specialization, for example, law or anthropology. This will provide excellent case studies. 
illustrative examples and sometimes very personal anecdotes from the field. Now, I would like you to introduce yourselves on the course forum and share with us why you want to be part of the Heritage Under Threat community. This is important since the course is very focused on personal experiences with heritage and inherently based on personal stories and in motivations. The interactive activities and written assignments are based on this premise too, making introductions and even more important. Good luck with your first assignment and see you soon in the next video.